So, whoop. <laughs> there you go, guys. He's drinking some tea. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Tilt Brush. This is a fun little VR game that I wanted to pick up for a long time, and now that it's on the Steam Summer Sale, I was like, you know what? We'll pick it up, and I think it's really cool, so I wanted to check it out with you guys today. We can basically draw whatever we want. We have a whole bunch of different tools. We have these awesome color palettes. I mean, just look how cool this looks, guys. Hello! <laughs> look at that. That's fantastic. We can do different effects. Let's grab a different color. Let's do some, like, blue. Actually, let's do rainbow. Ready? We're gonna do a big old rainbow. There we go. <laughs> check that out. Oh, that's so cool. We can kind of look around. We can get all up inside of it. We can even shrink and grow. Hello. <laughs> we can change our scale to interact. Let's see what else do we got. We got splatter, duct tape, paper. Let's do some, uh, ooh, let's do some embers. We can be all sparkly. Look at that. <laughs> some stars. Whee! Oh, isn't that beautiful? So today we're going to be drawing things. I checked on Twitter and I asked people on Discord uh, what they wanted me to draw. So we're going to be doing some viewer suggestions, guys. If you aren't following me on Twitter, make, make sure you do. We do we do fun stuff on there from time to time. Also join the Discord community if you want to interact in videos with things like this. All right, let's, let's scratch all this. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I like how it actually gets sucked back into the brush. That's so awesome. And then we can throw it back up there. <laughs> and back it goes. All right. Obviously, the first thing we need to draw is Cormac, my main, my little puppy. Look, it's so cool. It's like flowing around in here. Good job, Cormac. All right, we're going to try and redraw that. And we shall now try and recreate it. All right, well, the first thing we need to do is draw his little head. There we go. Nice oval head for Cormac. And then we'll do his, uh, actually, we'll do the ears. He's go way up. It's got big old puppy ears. There we go. The gray is kind of hard to see, but you know, it still works. Uh, now we need the brown for his snout. So it's going to kind of come down like this. There we go. And we're also going to need the inner part of the ear. Inner part of the ear. Perfect. <laughs> this is not going to look very good. We'll get his little eyebrow up there. Actually, no, let's just do lines for his eyebrows. So if I go back and redo, because he does have very distinctive little puppy eyebrows. Okay, looking good. And now I need white for his actual eyes, so we're going to do a little bit bigger here. There we go, give some nice big white eyes on to Puppy Boy. And then I need black for his spot. He's got a big spot around this eye. Is that actual black? I guess it's as close as the black it'll actually go. That's not even black at all! Yeah, it looks like you can't actually get actual black, unfortunately. Dang it, that, that'll make this tough. Uh, let's see, I wonder how blue would look. Let's just go with that. Give him there, because he's a blue healer, so they are kind of blue. <laughs> yeah, it's really not looking that great. Oh, uh, poor puppy. And then we've got a little, like a white spot right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not looking so great, but there we go, this Cormac, isn't he adorable? What a good boy. Well, David on Twitter wants to see the answer to life, but I mean, that's that's fairly obvious, right? I mean, there you go. Done. That is a cool color, oh my god. <laughs> References. All right, Kenobi wants to see a giant lobster riding on a nuclear-powered pig, it seems like. Now that's a challenge. All right, let's start with the pig. So, this is going to be 2D drawing, guys, because, you know, I can't draw in 3D, so... We'll have the pig's body kind of going out there. Give him a little leg there. Give him a second leg. Actually, I guess he's flying, so let's give him some curved little feet. So he's kind of going like, whoop. There we go. His legs are kind of flying back behind him. There we go. Some nice little piggy legs. <laughs> and, of course, the curly tail. <laughs> and then we'll have his head right here. And some piggy ears. Do pigs have ears? This one does. And there we go. That's a decent looking flying pig. All right, and now we got to draw a lobster riding on top of him. So he's that good color for lobster. Now it needs to be like a deeper red. There we go. That's much better looking. All right, and how would the lobster be riding? Would he be standing upright? Kind of like waving his claws? Oh, I'm not sure. Let's just start with like the beady eyes. There we go. And then we'll kind of draw like the shelly sort of body. All right, and we'll have his claws kind of sticking up here. And then we go up. Yeah. There we go. That's a good looking lobster. All right, and then we'll kind of have his tail kind of going back. And pretend it's kind of like behind the actual pig. 
And he'll just be yelling. There we go. Let's give it some little eyeballs. Actually, no, let's do a different color for that. Let's get a little complicated, guys. Don't want to make it too simple. Let's put the mouth back. And let's go ahead and give him some beady little eyes. Oh, right there. There we go. It's not looking bad. And oh, it does have to be a nuclear powered pig. So we're going to have. Oh, let's see. Let's use an actual effect for the stuff coming out. Fire. There we go. And there we go. <laughs> nuclear powered pig. That is pretty good looking, guys. I will say that. Check it out. There you go, Kenobi. <laughs> that came out so much better than I thought. I love how the stuff actually glows. Look at this. It's so cool. Okay. Let's see. We, we can add more to this, right? Let's make it magical. Let's add some embers coming out of there. <laughs> Here we go, guys. That is a flying... Oh, wait. He was supposed to be in space, wasn't he? Okay. How can we make him in space? Oh, let's draw a little Earth. All right. So he's going to be kind of... In orbit around Earth, so we'll have Earth kind of... Nope, didn't want to do embers. Forgot us on embers. So there we go. We got Earth over there. Let's add some land masses. <laughs> I guess it would be better to make them just lines. So we'll kind of do like land masses there. There we go. And then we'll do some little snow caps here and there. Alright, there we go. <laughs> it was a flying pig with a uh, flying nuclear powered... Or it's a, it's a lobster riding right a flying nuclear powered pig in space i don't know how i can top this guys that's so good now let's see i'm pretty sure i can save that right there we go and stop there we go add it to sketchbook fantastic all right so we can go ahead and clear this one out whoop, 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 whoop. look at him kind of disassemble <laughs> that's cool you can see the steps on how i did it and project jamesify wants to see an alien drinking tea in the sun so we're gonna make this guy like life size let's start with the head so let's do let's see how big is that uh, that's that's a decent size Right, so we'll do a big old alien head. No, it needs to be more oval. Do a big old alien head. There we go. And all his body kind of come down here. Here's his feet. Whoop. <laughs> and then he'll be holding his little hand up here. There we go. Okay, so there's my alien. Look, <laughs> it's almost life size, guys. I can like fit in it. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. All right, got the alien. Now let's give him some big old alien eyes. There we go. And. Give him some like little pupils. <laughs> oh, it's kind of spooky looking. Actually, let's give him really big pupils. So he's an alien. There we go. And now he needs, he's drinking some tea. So imagine a little teacup. Oh, let's make it like orange. Let's make it a little bit smaller. So he's got the, the handle kind of going there. And he's got a big old teacup. <laughs> there we go. And ooh, I know. Uh, we can give it some embers. Kind of make it seem like it's really hot. So do a little bit of embers there. There we go, just a tiny bit. It's kind of pretend it's steam coming off of it. All right, and then we got to do a big old sun up here. So we oh, there we go. Big old sun. Let's color it in completely. Fantastic. Oh, and we'll make it on fire a little bit. Get some. Oh, there is actually smoke. Huh? How's that? What's that look like? Oh, it just kind of sits there. Okay, that's not super exciting. Uh, fire, fire, fire. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Now it's burning. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Very cool. Uh, now let's, let's, let's give him a little bit more detail, shall we? Here, let's make it so he's actually, like, sipping on it. Oh, no. Let's make that smaller. Here, let's make him, like, a little mouth hole right there. And here. I know. I know what we'll do. Here, we'll get the tea kind of pouring out. Let's see. What effect should we use for the tea? Mm, waveform. That's kind of cool. It looks like it's flowing. So we'll have some tea kind of coming out here. Pretend he's using his alien telekinesis to pull the tea into his mouth. Let's make that a little bit bigger. So, whoop. <laughs> there you go, guys. He's drinking some tea. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, man. I'm checking out some of these other brushes. Look at this hyper color. Look at that. That's cool. It's constantly in flux. Bubbles. Oh, man. Chromatic wave. That's so cool. Okay, I'm, I'm ruining my alien drawing here. All right, let's go ahead and save this one. Let's go ahead and save him right there. Beautiful. Add it to the sketchbook. Look at that. We got alien and we got the little lobster pig. <laughs> That's fantastic. Ooh, and I have an idea of what to draw. I don't know how many of you remember the website homestarrunner.com, where there was this dude who used to answer emails. And in one email answer, he taught us how to draw one of the most beloved internet creations of all time, 
Trogdor the Burninator. Now I'm gonna see if I can remember how to draw him from scratch because I used to love that site back in the day. And it was just in, it, it was in black and white. It was like a pencil sketch. So I'm gonna make up the colors as I go. So first you draw an S. And you kind of bring it to a point. There we go. And then we have his mouth up here. Fantastic, he had a little like snout. All right, that looks like Trogdor's body. Looking good there. All right, and let's see. Uh, let's give him some little legs. So we'll have little darker green legs coming out here. I don't really like green for that. I don't know, we'll just keep it the same colors as his legs, I guess. I suppose. Let's go ahead and bah, bah. No, that's different. There we go, yeah, that brush picker, super handy. He's got a little legs right there. Okay, and he had little wings. Little wing sticking up here. Little wing there. Little wing there. We'll just have it go behind that one. Okay, that's looking good. And then he had some eyes up here. Actually, let's give him different colored eyes. Let's do like, uh, let's do some red eyes. I mean, he's a dragon. Trogdor was a man. Or maybe he was a dragon man. Or maybe he was just a dragon, but he's still Trogdor! Oh god, it's so hard to explain. No one will think this is funny other than the people that know what this what this is. <laughs> that remember watching this like 15 years ago when it first came out on Homestar Runner. Looking like a dragon, right? But we gotta remember the most crucial part of Trogdor, the Burninator. He's got a big beefy arm, but it's just sticking out of the back of his neck. There we go, we got some muscle lines there. There we go. <laughs> That's yeah, literally just like a muscular arm sticking out of the back of his neck. <laughs> oh my god. It's Trogdor the Burninator. <laughs> it's so good looking. Oh man, I love it. I just like doing this. Woo 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 woo. <laughs> god, it looks so good. Alright, actually, let's add. We gotta do his little. I think he had like little nose holes. There. There. My god. Oh, and he's got to be breathing fire. That's right. Uh, let's pick a good fire color. Let's go get the fire brush. And he's going to be... Pfft. Oh, it's great looking. Let's try his slightly different color. But no, it's not yellow enough. Need more yellowy. There we go. Oh, no. Let's make it a little smaller. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. Burn an 18, the countryside. Burn an 18, all the peasants. And over here, we'll draw the peasants' houses. So they got a little, little house right there. <laughs> the little doors. And the little windows. And then, like, a nice thatched roof. There we go. And then we're going to take that. Grab the fire. And... No! Grab that. Come on, there we go. And it's on fire! <laughs> From Trogdor, the Burninator. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Oh, my hand's freaking out. There we go. Oh, man. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, definitely got to save this one. Save sketch. Oh, Trogdor, you magnificent son of a bitch, you. Oh, and this is cool. It has automatic gift makers. Check that out. Trogdor. <laughs> that's so awesome. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this first look at Tilt Brush. If you guys want to see more, uh, definitely let me know by leaving a like, leaving a comment, leaving something. Also, if you have any ideas for another one, uh, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Give me something creative and original. D don't just say, like, a, a tree or something. I don't know. Put a little bit more thought into it. And if there's enough support, we'll do another video on this game. I will see you guys next time, hopefully. Bye.